What's going on today, YouTube? It's Ricard here, and we are bringing back one of our favorite series, Tearless Tuesday, but with a little bit of Fortnite. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, my first Tearless Tuesday of Fortnite since I've switched over from Warzone, and I thought POIs was a good place to start because this is going to help a lot of people that want to get higher kill games because I'm going to do this as to get high kill games and just like generally like how cool the place is like because we got to give it a little visual um preference as well because some of these are really cool looking so starting off with the jones's place i think this is like very d tier like for high kill games it's okay because the, you do have a vending machine or two there i think you actually have three vending machines there two weapons and one heals but it really doesn't appeal to me visually and honestly like if you're going for like high kill games you're never going to want to land there because the rotations off of there are very average if you ask me like your closest rotation is condo canyon or a statue so it's like very average if you ask me covert cavern i would probably have to put it s tier honestly it is a really cool poi it has very like there's good movement from it with the vents there's just like a crazy hectic fight in there probably one of the coolest bosses they've ever put in fortnite a awesome vault probably the biggest vault they've ever had i think they just actually had to nerf it because it was like too good um i think it's an s tier 100 s tier looks really freaking cool inside there's so many like different places in there you can go through the vents you can go and enter it in like four different ways i like it it's a really cool poi especially if you want to get high kill games like you're going to get a high kill game if you go there most likely because there's going to be at least three four people trying to get that chest Greasy Grove, I would have to put A tier, honestly. Like, I love landing there. If you've been to my stream, that's like my go-to. The only reason it's not going to be S tier for me right now is just because it's like weirdly like under, like there's not a ton of loot sometimes. Like, it's odd. It's like you can get unlimited heals because of how many cooler spawns there are there, but they did just get to like a 75% chance instead of 100%. So maybe it won't be as good for heals. But honestly, like materials you're pretty good on, but I don't know, weapon and loot wise, it just feels a little dry for some reason. Like when I'm playing it in competitive, like it feels very iffy at times. But for the most part, you can get chili chugs. You can do like, it's a solid, solid landing spot, 100%. It's not the best, but not the worst, if you ask me. But it does have that OG, like taco is so OG. I love it. Sleeping sound, I would have to put, it's pretty cool because like there's water between both cities, like visually appealing. It's one of the cooler looking ones, to be honest, but I think we're going to have to go and put it at B tier. I think it's just kind of average high kill wise. It's like at towards like the middle bottom area, but it has pretty solid loot for the most part. It has a general like good feel to it. Like I said, appealing for the eyes. It's decent. Um, and low key's kind of busy. People like to land there a lot. I don't know why. So I'm going to leave it right there in the middle. It's very average if you ask me. Camp Cuddle. My goodness. Um, first off, I can't believe they named it Camp Cuddle. But I'm going to have to probably put it. Uh, but then it's going to be one of everything. Am I just doing this and making this easy? Putting one of each? No, I'm going to put it at C. Visually appealing, obviously very appealing. It's probably one of the coolest ones on the map. Uh, we're going to go B tier with it, actually. I changed my mind. Stupid shark in the middle is annoying as hell, but there's a lot of fishing spots there. You got a cool bridge on it now. It connects over to Tilted Towers. It's a pretty cool area. The camp itself feels very underwhelming. It kind of, I guess, for a summer camp, it's like a small summer camp, but like it's it doesn't like jump out to me and be like, this is a POI. Like it feels like you're just running through some buildings sometimes. So that's why I'm going to have to put it at average, but it is very visually appealing with that big old lake. Shifty shafts is a very OG, but it's also going to go B as well. In my opinion, I think shifty shafts is one of those landing spots that like you really have to just love that spot. Like that was like your spot back in the day. Other than that, for me, someone that what wasn't my landing spot, I don't love it. Underground spots are like very average to me, but it does have that OG feel. So got a couple of vending machines, pretty solid loot, some campfires. It's decent. So we'll put it at B. Condo Canyon. I'm actually going to put this at A tier. I like to cause, call it the cozy cone if you ever watch cars, but I think it's like, decent like it's got good loot 
you can get heals pretty good. There's like three vending machines and it also has like the other part of it over here. It's like, it's a really big POI. It might actually be like the biggest or like the longest POI that are tilted towers, but there's a lot going on there. I don't know. I think it's a very, very solid. I really enjoy landing there. Maybe just because, like, back in the day, I loved landing Paradise, so it gives me a little, like, it has a soft spot in my heart. But, honestly, I like it. There's good materials, vending machines. That's a little bit of everything for you. So, I enjoy it. I guess I'll stick with it A tier. I was debating putting it down to B, but I think A tier deserve it. I have Rocky Reels, guys. For those people that were huge Risky Reels droppers back in the day, I absolutely love this POI. It brings back so many memories. This whole map has so many great memories to it just because they really brought some of the great things back from the OG map and put it back in. And nothing like going to the drive-in movies. I haven't been since I was probably seven, but Rocky Reels, great landing spot. Usually pretty high, like, popularity like there's usually like between five and ten people there mattering on with the game and honestly i would probably have to rank it at s tier i really like rocky reels this is something that might get some hate but i think it looks really good the buildings are just perfectly spaced out enough to where the fighting's really fun like you can either like take long distance shots or you can just rush people i think the loot's pretty solid as well so s tier for rocky reels might surprise some people but i I loved Risky back in the day. What can I say? It's got good mats. It's got, it got, it's also like the center of the map, like literally like directly just bottom center. So you're kind of just running after it. Like you can go anywhere you want after that. And also you're not too far from Spider-Man's from both directions. So kind of nice. The Coney Crossroad. I would probably have to put Coney. It's so average. I think I'm actually gonna put a C tier. I, it's in the middle of the map, so like if you can get out of there and rotate good, but they're not near any Spider-Man, so like there's no Spider-Man's near there, so it's kind of hard to rotate like for high kill games. But honestly, I just don't love it. On it, it just awkward fights happen there constantly. Like the buildings are too close together, so people can just run away constantly, and then you get third partied. It's going C tier for me. I don't love it. It's kind of cool because they have the big ice cream cone head dude, but eh. Daily Bugle, or the Daily Bulge, however you like to call it. I would probably have to put this at, I'm going to put it at B tier. Some people really like, you get so many Spider-Mans there, blah, blah, blah. I personally just think like two buildings or three buildings, whatever it is, is just kind of boring for like a big POI, and it's mostly vertical, so it's like kind of a pain in the butt to fight there. People tend to third party off the side of the mountains. I'm going to leave it at average because you can rotate off there very well. So it's decent. Sanctuary, kind of cool. But like at the same time, it's like I get it for like the lore, why it's there. But for me, I just don't love it. Okay, like rotating through there is boring. All the buildings looked exactly the same. The only thing cool about it is you get the big old tower or power, big old statue. I don't know where the tower came from, but big old statue. And you can rotate off that. I think the loot there is pretty average, obviously. You can go down and do the vaults there, but I'm just going to have to leave it at C. It just, like, I feel like they could have done more. Tilted Towers is always going to be S tier for me. I'm an OG Tilted Towers fighter. I used to be there with Nick Marks when he was on West Coast in LA. We were fighting every freaking day, man. I love Tilted Towers till the day I die. It's not, it doesn't feel like how Tilted used to be because like it was really busy the first couple of days and then now it's kind of like died off to where most people are like, eh, I don't want to go die off the rip. So I don't think it'll ever be like OG, OG Tilted Towers, but you're going to run into some demons there if you go there. So better watch out. Logjam Lumber Yard. This is a very interesting one as well. It is probably one of the coolest looking spots on the map. You get good mats. Rotation from there is pretty decent because you can go to Covert Canyon and use the vents. There's a lot of launch pads on the ground at the IO spots. Hmm. I think we're going to have to go A tier on it. I it Honestly, like if you would have told me this was Camp Cuddle, I would believe you. Because it feels like like the outsides over here towards the bottom of the lake, it feels like a camp. It feels very nice, like a little or even like a tiny town, like a ski town or something. It kind of feels like other than that, obviously, you are. It's a big old lumber yard. You can get all the mats you could ever want. Got a couple uh, vending machines. Rotations, like I said, are good. Yeah, I think a tier is fair. And then Honker Speedway. 
Gotta love a good old Speedway. Gave it another OG Fortnite map vibes here, man. Um, I think it's decent. Nothing to like, I'm probably never gonna land there. Like I'd much rather ran Ondo for the most part. Mats are very average. You can get metal pretty easy, but other than that, they really did kind of screw over the desert areas, which I should have said earlier is like cactuses used to give you a ton of mats back in the day and they give you like hardly any now and the rocks out there don't give you crap either. So I think we're just going to have to put it at B tier. I think they did a good job. It actually feels like an outdoor racetrack and for the most part, though, there is like a lot of ground loot there, like a lot of ground loot and you can usually find the launch pad there which when I rotate through there. So it's solid for the most part, but I think it goes right in the middle a little b tier action but that's gonna be it guys the first fortnite tier list tuesday hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did make sure you guys do drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here so you can find your way back for more tier lists or more fortnite content or whatever i upload on this channel because honestly i'm having a great time just playing anything on my stream i have a live streaming channel which you can find in the description below and i also have a shorts channel so i love you guys have a great rest of your day and if you, you guys can also find it by pressing like the channel tab on my actual channel it'll have my three channels there so i love you guys have a great rest of your day and peace out